Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Today I want to share with you guys a new snake hook that I recently got. And I'm really excited about this new hook. So it seems a little crazy since I've been working with snakes for almost 40 years now, but I never had a professional grade snake hook, or really any kind of real snake hook. When I was 12, I remember making or trying to make a snake hook out of one of my dad's discarded golf clubs. But of course this was really not a real snake hook, I didn't really use that very much. And then I just got used to handling snakes with just my hands. You know, I'm not quite sure why I never got a snake hook. Maybe I didn't think I needed one because my snakes are always pretty docile. Or maybe I just got used to the occasional bite on the hand from one of my boas. Maybe I just didn't want people thinking of me as a hooker. But for whatever reason, I never got a snake hook. But then I was filming the episode on handling boas a few weeks ago. And of course, the most common way people handle boas is using a snake hook. And I didn't have a snake hook, so I felt a little bit inadequate. Um, so after doing that episode, I thought to myself, you know, at this point in my life, I think I can splurge and pick up a snake hook. And so I did some research online, looked into the best brands, and it really came down to two brands. There were a lot of these, you know, really cheap ones out there, but it seemed like the Doc Seward and the Midwest Tongs brands were the uh, best quality. And so I read a lot of reviews and I actually went with the Midwest Tongs. There were a little bit more reviews out there and I think they've been around a little longer. Um, I got the 30 inch length, which is the length for indoors for, you know, cage handling. It's a little more maneuverable. There's also the standard 40 inch length that you can get for herping in the field and handling snakes outside. And I think I might pick up a 40 inch length. I might try the Doc Sewer brand for that one. But um, if any of you guys have any experience with these brands or with other brands of snake hooks, I'd love to hear your reactions. So please add those to the comments below. So this is my new snake hook, as I mentioned. This is the Midwest Tongs 30 inch standard snake hook. And the first impression I got when I unpacked this hook was that this is a surprisingly lightweight, yet very sturdy tool. From the comfortable rubber grip, to the stiff stainless steel shaft, to the precisionly engineered aircraft grade anatized aluminum hook, this is one well-crafted snake handling instrument. You know, I may be a little old fashioned, but I believe you can judge a lot about the character of a man by the quality of his tool. And believe me, this is one tool that doesn't disappoint in the quality department. So now let's get out a snake and show this tool in action. So to use the snake hook, the first thing you wanna do is announce your presence by gently stroking the snake towards the tail with the tip of the hook. And then you want to put the hook underneath the body of the snake about a third of the way down and then just gently lift the snake like this. You want to have the posterior third of its body in one hand and you can use the hook to support the front third of its body. Notice I'm keeping the head, which is the business end of the snake, away from me so I don't get bitten. So to maneuver the snake, you want to put the hook about a third of the way back from the head, and then you can hold the posterior third or so of its body using your hand. And again, you want to just maneuver the snake's head generally away from your face so you don't get bitten. And so as you probably can tell, I don't really need the hook with this guy. This guy, like most of my boas, is pretty docile. So I foresee using this hook, mostly I have a few larger animals that are somewhat wild, as well as a few babies that are currently pretty hissy. And if these babies don't calm down, I'm gonna be using the hook with them in the future, just to avoid you know, the occasional bloodshed due to a strike that makes it to my hand. But overall, I really like this hook. I think it looks like a very well-made instrument that I imagine will last for quite a while, for quite a few years ahead of use. Uh, again, I'd like to hear what you guys think about the different types of snake hooks available and what your experience has been with snake hooks, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So please comment below. Well, I hope this video was entertaining and informative. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for watching and enjoy your boas.